Hey, what's up everyone and Happy New Year! This is my first Figma review of 2015 and hopefully it will be the first of many. And today I'll be looking at Figma number 234, Chariot TV animation version from Blackrock Shooter. And as usual, this is by Max Factory. So as usual, before busting this thing open, let's take a quick look around the box. Through the window in the front of the box we can see the figure here, two alternate expressions, some macaroons, a sword, alternate hands, and it might be hard to see in there, but in the back is that massive shield. And as always we got some pictures on the top here, the same one down here on the bottom, as well as here on the left side, as well as the right hand side. And around on the back is some pictures of the figure in action, and I have to say this looks insane. So that's pretty much it for the box, let's bust this thing open and see what we've got. Now a bit redundant, but it has become tradition, so here is the DI stage segment at the back of the box in there, and that is the same color as the box. So now with the inner packaging out of the box we can get a closer look at this. So over here on the right is Chariot, over then on the left hand side is the alternate hands, her sword, up here the alternate faces and the macaroons, and around here on the back is that colossal shield. And then down here in the bottom is that Figma bag, the Figma stand and base, a second stand and base, as well as the instructions. And as usual this lists all the parts as well as how to put everything together over here. But interestingly enough, that is now in English over on the other side, so that is pretty awesome. Max Factory is really starting to acknowledge its foreign buyers, so this is pretty cool. But now moving on to the most important part, the figure itself. So this is an aspect of the unboxing I never usually show, but I'm just going to show it for the sake of it here. Figma come with a whole lot of extra packaging on here to protect the paint and to stop parts sticking together. As you can see it's wrapped around the crown up here, there's a part back here separating the hair from the upper body, as well as down here wrapped around the legs. This part here you can see goes under the crown, so you have to take that off in order to remove that. So here is the awesome chariot out of the box. And I have to say the first thing that catches my eye is the awesome color scheme. This is one of the aspects I love about the black rock shooter characters. They all have one major color paired with black and it just looks so cool. When it comes to aesthetics the face really is one of the most important features and Max Factory really hasn't failed to deliver here, especially with those eyes. In orange and yellow they are so perfectly detailed. The hair is very nicely detailed as well and that is a really nice dynamic sculpt right there. That savage gloss black pointy crown really tops that off. Moving down to the dress and the upper white section has some nice ruffles and button details there. Moving down to the lower part there and there's a nice metallic silver zipper and moving down from that we've got some nice black over white layering with some yellow on the underside. Onto the arms and matte black here with some nice yellow pinstriping running down the arms and those cuffs have been awesomely sculpted as well. Those demonic hands are back again here and I have to say I absolutely love these. These look absolutely savage and the sculpt and detailing here is killer. And finally down here we have Chariot's very very unique legs. Looking like a set of Knight's Greaves with wheels for the feet. This is such a cool concept. Standing out against the matte black of the dress, what we've got down here is a gloss black. The rivets on the armor are in a gold which also contrasts against the yellow used on the sleeves and the buttons on the cuffs. And really serves to show that this is metallic armored and the shirt is cloth. I don't actually know what these things down here are called. I know they're on the wheels of chariots but I don't know exactly what these are called. But again, these look amazing in metallic gold. And so do those epic looking wheels. And in case you're wondering, yes, they do spin. So here is Figma Chariot with everything that she comes with. So that's seven alternate hands as well as the two default hands for a total of nine. Two alternate faces as well as the default, a sword, three macaroons, or macarons as they're called in Japan, and finally that massive shield. And also there's a stand included for the shield. So starting off with the big one and here is the shield. So some nice detailing on here, black and metallic gold. As you can see there's a hole up here which I assume is for using with the stand. Flipping it around to this side, some more nice detailing, two more holes for using with the stand, as well as this section here for attaching to her arm. As for hands we have two open palmed hands, two closed fists, two fists with a hole in them for holding stuff, another holding hand but this one's at a bit of an angle out that way and there's just one of those, a right hand, as well as this awesome looking holding hand and this is for holding the macaroon. And speaking of which, here are the macaroons. And the one that can be held by the hand is this green one here with the hole in the center. And I have to say the colors of these are fantastic and they're an epic contrast against the bleak black and gold of Chariot. Next up is the sword and this is pretty plain. A black 
black blade with some gold sections here and here and there's a gold stripe down the handle. As for faces we have this default expression, this downward glancing shocked looking expression and last up is this ecstatic looking expression. Now moving on to the articulation and as always starting from the head down. So there is the head to the front and to the back so a little bit of motion there. Rotation at the neck side to side so not a whole lot of movement due to that hair back there. And there's a little bit of a side to side tilt there as well. There are some points of articulation in the hair here so they can move up and down at that point there. There's a little bit of rotation as well at this point. Articulation at the shoulder and there is the arm all the way up so that can move up pretty high. That can also rotate here all the way around as usual. The bend here at the elbow and that's a pretty decent bend and a pretty decent amount of articulation here at the wrist considering this cuff here does block the majority of that. As the dress here is made out of a soft material, there's quite a bit of side to side motion here at the torso. And as you can see back here there is a bit of a split at the joint there so you get a lot of forward and back motion. There's the kick all the way up to the front and a decent amount of movement there as well and also a pretty decent amount of movement here at the back thanks to that soft material that's used on the dress. Here is the lateral movement of the leg and that is as far up as this can go and this is restricted by the joint itself not by the dress. Some rotation here at this point, quite a disappointing bend at the knee here. I expected a little bit more out of this, especially because here on the box the knee is bent well past that point. So to get it like this, you may have to pull the joint out and stick it back in again after you bend it. And that's something I'm not really in a rush to do. And finally we have another joint down here as what you could refer to as the ankle. So we've got some rotation that can go all the way around, as well as a bend here at this joint. And that's quite the amount of movement. So that's it for the articulation, and for the most part, it is awesome, but is let down quite a bit by the knees. So now moving on to the quality, and for the most part, as usual, everything here is perfect. As always, Max Factory has absolutely nailed the paint job here. Also matte paint used on the white and black of the dress, as well as on the hair and face. Then we've gloss on those awesome hands, that epic crown, as well as on the armored parts of the legs. As well as matte and gloss paint, we also have metallic on these spikes, the wheels, and the zipper. As for the joint strength, they're all good and strong and you'll have no problem keeping this in any pose that you want. And if you're worried about it holding the shield, the shield does have a dedicated stand, so that shouldn't be a problem. So like I mentioned in articulation, the dress is made out of soft material. And it's pretty cool that they did add a different color under here on the inside of the upper layer. But because that is made out of soft material, that won't get in the way of the articulation. So are there any negative aspects? Well there is a couple, but there's no deal breakers. As for the crown up here, I would be very careful with the way you take this on and off. As, as you can see right here, it is prone to paint transfer. The black paint from the crown has transferred to the hair around here. It has also transferred quite heavily onto this section of hair up here and this does look pretty bad. As this figure can be displayed with or without the crown, this paint transfer does make it pretty hard to do the latter. So just be careful when putting it on and taking it off. But it is hard to avoid this part, so maybe try not to do it so often. Also there is a little bit of noticeable flash around here on my one. This may not be on every figure, but it is present here. This isn't something I would normally point out, but it is right beside the face, so it is quite noticeable. So that is it for my review of the Figma Chariot TV animation version. And again, this is another awesome addition to the Figma Black Rock Shooter lineup. It has some awesome accessories, including that amazing shield and those awesome little macaroons as well. The paint on this is fantastic. We have a mix of gloss, matte and metallics. We have that awesome Figma quality all across the board here. The only real letdowns are those knees. It shows on the box that they can bend further than they apparently can, but maybe you can adjust them by pulling out the joints. And of course, be careful of that paint transfer from the crown to the hair. So would I recommend it? Definitely. So as always, thanks for watching and make sure to come back for more Figma reviews. Here, give me that.